All right, guys, for the first round, my opponent's first Pokemon is going to be an Altaria. So this is a very terrible start because Altaria being a dragon and flying-type Pokemon, he is going to be resisting my ground-type moves due to ground-types being not very effective against flying-types. So what I did here was actually pretend I was going for the shield bait, but not actually going for the shield bait. I do think that he did think I was going to be throwing in the Mud Bomb that will barely even damage my opponent's Altaria, as you guys see from my Mud Shell only. But instead of throwing in the Mud Bomb to use as a shield bait, I do just go sh directly for the Blizzard that doesn't actually get a shield and instantly faints my opponent's Altaria. Blizzard being an Ice type move, Ice types will be doing super effective damage against both Dragon types and Flying types, which causes double super effective damage, so we do instantly take care of that Altaria. I try to do the same thing with my opponent's second Pokemon, which is an Ivysaur, and boom another great hit um it does fit my opponent's ivysaur and even better my opponent's final pokemon is going to be a snorlax snorlax being a normal type pokemon that is a perfect time for my vigorith to come out vigorith having access to counter as his fast move fighting types will be doing super effective damage against normal types and as you guys see my vigorith is doing a god of damage against my opponent's snorlax allowing us to win the first down good game to our opponent Alright guys, for the second round, my opponent's first Pokemon is going to be a Snorlax. So this is going to be an even start because both of us are going to be doing neutral damage with all of our attacks. I do get to my Mud Bomb first before my opponent does get to his Charge Move, which will probably be something like Body Slam. I don't actually expect it to be a superpower because he will be getting that attack and defense debuff pretty early in the match so i do expect him to just be throwing in those body slams once again my mud bomb is going to be going through without a shield and i do make a swap out into my vigorous once again vigorous having access to counter as his fast move fighting tips will be doing super effective damage against normal types that was going to be a perfect time for my vigorous to actually clean that snorlax but he does make a swap out to Gallade. Gallade being a fighting and psychic type pokemon he is going to be resisting my counter due to fighting types being not very effective against psychic types but as you guys saw there that that body slam did do more than half health which was very good my body slam is once again charged up i do expect it to face my galade or my opponent's galade if he does choose not to throw the shield because as you guys saw the damage from before it did do so much um he does choose not to throw any shield there and my opponent does make his swap out into his second to last pokemon a polytoad Palito being a water type Pokemon, both of us are going to be doing neutral damage against each other. Um, I do know that he is going to be fainting my Vigorous face and probably getting a farm done off of it. Because as you just saw, my Vigorous was very low there. But I don't actually have to worry about that Snorlax because it is going to be 1 HP. I do know that none of Snorlax's charge moves will be doing a good amount of damage against my Marowak. Um but i do have to worry about that lick from my snorlax's opponent um body slam from my snorlax i do decide to throw a shield there and then i do decide to make a quick swap into mega whack since we are going to be resisting all of my opponents fighting and almost type moves to my opponent's snorlax right here since my opponent's snorlax is very low and we are barely going to be taking any damage from my opponent's charge moves or fast moves i do just decide to go for the hard farm down and then get a good amount of energy stored up on my marowak and i do decide to throw in the shadow bone that will be doing a good amount of energy damage we don't actually get the defense debuff from the shadow bone it still is okay because we do want to have as much of the advantage as possible but my opponent does get to his charge here i do know that it is probably going to faint my alolan marowak because weather ball being a water type treasure roof body types will be doing super effective damage against fire types and my final pokemon is going to be my whiskash whiskash being a ground and water type pokemon both of us are going to be doing neutral damage against each other um 
I do know that he will probably be getting to a charge room first, as you guys see here, because he did get a good farm done on both my Snorlax and my Vigorous. So he does actually throw in the Earthquake, but with one HP left, my Whiskash does actually get to a Mud Bomb, which actually saved our team right here. Uh, Mud Bomb, I do know, will be doing enough damage to actually fit my opponent's Politoed right there, allowing us to win the second round. Good game to our opponent. Alright guys, for the third round, my opponent's first Pokemon is going to be a Lucky Tongue. Both of us are going to be doing neutral damage against each other. Lucky Tongue is kind of meaty, so he is going to have a bunch of HP. I don't really know his moveset. He could actually have something that will be doing super effective damage against my Whiskash that I don't really know about. But if I can guess, it probably will be something like Body Slam that I won't actually throw in the shield for. Um, as you guys will see here, he does actually get to his charge move, and we do get hit by a power whip. That was very bad because power whip being a grass type charge move, grass types will be doing double super effective damage against my Whiskash due to grass types being super effective against both ground types and water types. So you do get a he does get a very nice hit on my Whiskash and he does get a very first faint. And from here I do decide to make a swap out into my Vigorith. Vigorith being a normal type Pokemon. He, we are going to be resisting my opponent's fast move, which is lick um lick is a ghost type fast move that does not have effective damage against normal types and also uh, my counters are going to be doing super effective damage against my opponent as well due to fighting types being super effective against normal types as you guys see here i am i do have the disadvantage of only having one shield left while my opponent does have two shields left but my body slam is going to be doing a good amount of damage on my opponent's second pokemon which is an Altaria. Altaria being a dragon and flying a Pokemon, I do know that it does take four body slams to actually fade to my opponent's Altaria because Altaria is pretty glassy. Plus, my counters are going to be resisted, so I only have, so I can only rely on my body slam for my own vigorous. My third body slam is charged up. I do expect to see a shield come off of my opponent since once again it does take three body slams or four body slams to actually faint an Altaria. As you guys see here, we do actually get my opponent's first shield. I am going to be throwing in my first shield here as well since my body slam is almost charged up. Um, as you guys see, we are ahead on damage, but he, my opponent does have the advantage on on shields which is definitely okay because my Marowak will be able to come in and just spam the shadow bones but my third body slam is going to be coming through the Altaria is going to be fainting there and my opponent's final pokemon is going to be an Obama snow Obama snow being a fire or an ice and grass type pokemon fire types will be doing double super effective damage against them and because of that my Marowak will be easily Painting my opponent's bomb is now allowing us to win the third round. Good game to my opponent. Alright guys, for the third round, my opponent's first Pokemon is going to be a Dragonair. Dragonair being a dragon type Pokemon, both of us are going to be doing neutral damage. All of my ground type moves are going to be doing neutral damage and all of Dragonair's dragon type moves are going to be doing neutral damage as well. So we all ahead on damage because my mud bomb is just charging up way faster. My second mud bomb is going to be going through. I do have to get to the excellent to do as much damage as possible. I do expect them not to be throwing in any shield here because of how um, strong my opponent's Dragonair's charge move will be and that is going to be a guaranteed shield for me. As you guys will be seeing here, I am going to be throwing in a shield to block out that Dragon Pulse. Um, and then I do make a swap out into my Vigorous. Vigorous is going to be fainting that Dragonair, but he did actually make a swap out into Medicham. So because my Vigorous does have counter as his fast move, we are going to be doing not very effective damage against this Medicham due to fighting types being not very effective against psychic types. My body slam is still going to be doing a good amount of neutral damage, and we are going to be taking super effective damage hits from my opponent's fighting type moves due to fighting types being super effective against normal types. So Medicham being a a fighting type Pokemon that is going to be perfect for my Marowak to come in because my Shadow Bone will be doing super effective damage against my opponent. 
plus my we are going to be resisting all of medicham's ice and fighting type moves which includes ice punch and dynamic punch all of my opponent's psychic type moves are going, is going to be doing a good amount of novel effective damage as well but we don't really have to worry about that because right now it does seem like he does only have dynamic punch as his moveset so my opponent does get to another charge with fear I, I do choose not to shield if we do get hit by a psychic it still is going to be okay i do know that my marowak will be able to survive but good thing my opponent did only throw in an ice punch he does try to make you swap out into dragonair and try to bait me by throwing in my charge move onto that dragonair instead of that Metatram, but that actually didn't work because my treasures weren't even charged up. But my opponent's second to last Pokemon is going to be a Frolas. Frolas being an Ice and Ghost type Pokemon. That Ghost type move, Shadow Bone, did do so much to be effective damage against him, almost fainting him from the hut that my opponent was at. That Metatram is going to be coming out. I did just throw a nice shield here. I do still have three Pokemon left my Whiskash and my Vigorous. And my Marowak, I do know, will probably be able to faint my opponent's Medicham, allowing us to win the fourth round. Good game to our opponent. Alright guys, for the fifth and final round, my opponent's first Pokemon is going to be a Galvantula. Galvantula being a bug and electric type Pokemon, our ground type moves will be doing super effective damage against him due to Galvantula being an electric type Pokemon. But since he does also have access to that bug type on him, ground types will be doing novel effective damage against bug types and that does make our mud bomb do neutral damage against my opponent's Galvantula. So I do know that this lunge is going to be doing a good amount of damage, we are going to be resisting that this charge and the lunge does also give your opponent an attack debuff so i do know that my whisk cash does have an attack debuff on him and my opponent does make a pretty quick swap out into a um a low abomasnow abomasnow being a grass and i said pokemon that is going to be a perfect time for my alolan marowak to come out fire spin will be doing double super effective damage against my opponent's abomasnow and my marowak will be will easily be able to face my opponents without barely any taking damage back um, weather ball and energy ball, ice type moves and grass type moves, we are going to be resisting as you guys see there. He did actually get us to half health, but that is only because we did actually go for the hard farm down. That is huge for us because our charge moves are um, way charged up right now. I do have two shadow bones charged up and my opponent's second Pokemon is going to be a Polytoad. So right after my my Alola Marowak does faint, I am going to be, be making a swap out into my... Vigorith. Vigorith is going to be the safe, the safe stop in this team and Vigorith with counter plus body slam which is just very strong but my opponent is actually taking these fire spin hits really well due to fire types being not effective against water types. My Marowak did barely do any damage against him which is still okay because my shadow bones um because of that we did actually get two shields so that is a perfect time for my own Vigorith to come out and these body slams aren't weak at all they will probably do at least half health on my opponent's Politoed. My body slam is going to be charged up. I do decide to throw in my first shield on that weather ball that we did actually shield. I am going to be getting to that excellent because I do know that my opponent does have zero shield left so that he is not going to be throwing in a shield there. If my opponent does get to another weather ball like he does here, I am going to be throwing in another or not another shield but I'm, I am just going to be charging up into another body slam and instantly fans my opponent but my opponent does make a swap out into Galvantula. I still have that shield because I did remember that Galvantula did actually go for the farm down on my Whiskash but he did so he did get extra energy stored up when he did make a swap out so my mud bomb for my Whiskash is going to be charged up although we did get the attack debuff it still is okay because my Whiskash will be doing enough damage to actually face my opponent's 
Galvantula right there as you can see there and the Politoid is going to be coming out and Mud Bomb is charged up. If my Whiskash is going to be phasing here that still will be okay because my Vigorous will be able to come out and I do know that he still has extra energy charged up toward that body slam so only one counter until we do get to that body slam allowing us to win the final round good game to our opponent. Alright guys, so that will be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and turning notifications on. It will really help the channel a lot. Comment down below what you guys think of this team. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.